So I'm having a couple issues with my RED Komodo. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this camera, but these issues are preventing me from using the camera in certain ways and I was thinking maybe we could help each other out. I'll show you the issues that I'm having and maybe you'll learn something about the camera or maybe you'll have some insight for me that I can learn about in the comments. Anyway, the first issue that I'm having is that when I'm using RED tested Canon lenses, the aperture values do not read correctly and it can snap around when zoomed to different focal lengths. Let me show you. So this is using the RF 15-35 f2.8 L series lens. First off, the lens doesn't show its proper aperture value when wide open, but that's okay. This is a known issue pointed out by RED and they say the lens will reach its designed aperture range. Okay, cool, but this image looks darker than it should using these settings. Okay, well how about this? I'll zoom the lens in all the way and run the aperture closed a bit then open. Oh, okay, wow, that really did brighten the image. That's weird. Okay, well now I'll zoom all the way back out and yep, that image is much better. Maybe I'll even tighten my aperture a little bit. I tighten it one tick and it seems to jump a stop or so. Uh, okay, that's weird. So I try to roll the aperture back to wide open and now the image won't get as bright as it just was even though the aperture says it's wide open again. Huh? Okay, I guess I'll zoom in again, move the aperture, closed one tick, and wait. I just closed it, but my image brightened. The aperture is unlocked again. Okay, let's look at this again with false color on. With the aperture actually all the way open and the lens zoomed all the way out, I'll close the aperture one tick, or what should be a third of a stop, and it seems to jump about a stop, and I won't be able to open the aperture all the way back up again. Now if I zoom the lens in and try to close the aperture, it pops back open, doing the opposite of what it should. But fixing the problem. But also maybe with false color going, you noticed my other issue. When zooming in the lenses, the exposure also seems to be changing kind of like a variable aperture lens set to wide open that is just closing down to its minimum value as it's closing in. Another pain though is that it will also do it at any aperture value instead of just from wide open. So no matter what, zooming in these lenses makes my image darker. Now I know the first thing that you were thinking, it must be the lens. Same thing that I thought. Here's the same lens on my Canon C70. It's functions totally as expected and I'm having zero issues with it. From the beginning to the end of my zoom range, the exposure holds constant and the aperture value never jumps or gets stuck anywhere. The next thing I was thinking, it's maybe just that specific lens on the red. Well, it's also happening with my RF 24-105 f4L, basically the exact same way. Aperture values get stuck when zoomed all the way out and then pop back in when zoomed all the way in. It also loses light when zooming in on the red Komodo, much like the RF 15-35. And again, the 24-105 works perfectly perfectly on the Canon C70. Zero issues, fantastic lens. Mwah. Chef's kiss. The Red Komodo even functions strangely with my RF 24 to 240 millimeter f4 to 6.3, but is even weirder because this lens has a variable aperture to begin with. I do also have some EF Canon zooms that are losing light when zooming in on the Red Komodo when they shouldn't be, but I have a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter that seems to be my only zoom lens that works flawlessly on the Red Komodo. Primes I've had zero issues with, and that's why it's taken me so long to find this problem. I've basically been using the RED Komodo as a studio camera with prime lenses on it to do product shots or shots like this right here. I was prepping the Komodo to take with me for my other gig, Epic Mealtime. Check out what we are up to here on that channel. Sauce Boss and Prince Atari are still masters of culinary comedy and ramping up with more episodes and a podcast. But while getting ready to shoot that is when I figured out these issues. Epic Mealtime is a much more run and gun style of shooting, so this stuff would have killed me. And this is where I need your help. Do you have a red Komodo in any of these lenses? Or any RF zoom lenses at all? Have you or anybody you know experienced any issues like this with the red Komodo or any other camera? Could I maybe just have some dirty contacts or something on this basically brand new camera? If you have any insider this helped you out at all, please leave a comment. So we can, you know, help each other out.